I can barely wait to get back. This is so much fun. Yes, that's what you were thinking too. Okay, here we have a problem. You're supposed you have 0.5 liters of some IV fluid in your bag that you're going to give the patient. You're going to do it for eight hours. Well, the first thing I have to know is what is V? Again, V stands for volume, but in not the total volume, but the milliliters per hour. I need to find out the milliliters per hour. Well, I got to take, hey, that's, that's liters. I got to take that and make it into milliliters. Well, how many milliliters is that moving your desk and back and forth? It's what, 500. So 500 milliliters divided by eight hours. What a sloppy bunch of junk. You'd think they'd hire some more competent teachers around this place. No, got to hire a Dudley guy. So we take, and I see, I see people doing this. Don't use 0 0.5, that's liters. We need milliliters. So 500 milliliters divided by eight hours. Now that is 62.5. Here's the plan. In fact, this makes your life easier. What you don't want to do normally is round the number off and use that number in your next calculation. When I mean, you can, it won't be that far off, but instead of using, you wouldn't want to say 63, it's 62.5. The number's already in your calculator. Leave the number in the calculator, okay? And say, okay, V, V is what? 62.5. Now see, we did this only to find V. We're not doing this yet. We're just doing that to find that what V is in our V over T times C equals our formula. Well, I found it. Leave it there, 62.5. Just leave it there for a minute. Over T, what's T? T is 60, always it's 60. Well, what's the calibration? I don't know, let's see, calibration. Uh, oh, 20, there it is, 20 drops per milliliter. That IV set's gonna be stamped on the IV package in the real world, in the book, in the homework, in the quiz. It'll be told to you. So that number goes here. Now again, you can prove it to me later if you want to prove it to yourself later, I know it. You can take 62.5 divided by 60 then times 20, or you could do this number times 20 then divided by this. Don't do that. Do it the easier way. You should know this by now. 20 goes into 60 three times, right? Yeah. We're canceling out the 20 and the 60, make it three. So the only math is with the number still in your calculator, to say divided by three. And that's 20.8333333333 keeps going, going to infinity and beyond. So and the same rule applies here as applies to the machines. You do the nearest whole number. Now that should really make sense here. You wouldn't say 20.8. I mean, come on, let's get real. You can't count partial drops. You can't count, okay, here's my drops. 18, 19, 20, 20.8. You can't count partial drops. The nearest whole number. So what do you call the nearest whole number to 20.8? 20 21. The answer is 21 drops per minute. That's your answer. I got it by doing what? Doing a very simple calculation to find milliliters per hour. That's here. I divide it by the number 60, well sort of kind of, put that on the bottom. I'm given the calibration or the drop factor. This Cancels this to make a three, and there it is. Bang, there's the answer. Try this one. I had 250 milliliters of some kind of IV fluid, probably Dr. Pepper, maybe. Yeah. And get it for three hours. Well, I gotta find V first. So let's do some simple math called division to find out my volume. So I take 250, that's a milliliters, divide by the hours, that's three. Well, what in the world is 250 divided by three? Yeah, I knew that. 83.33333. Leave it there. Just leave it there, okay? So that's going to be, now all this junk here, I'm so sorry. V, I'll put it up here, okay? V is 83.33, repeating three, okay. Over T. What is T going to be in this particular problem? The number 60. But, oh, look what happens here. This is so neat. What is my drop factor? My, what's C? The calibration, drop factor, call it what you want to. 
uh, no, don't call it what you want to. It's either a calibration or drop factor. It's a micro drop. Ah, that means 60. That means the calibration is 60. Hmm. Therefore, and don't do this divided by that. Look, the 60s cancel each other out. So what's your final answer? Well, the 83.333, of course, we round that off to the nearest whole number, which of course is 83. So I'm going to count 83 drops per minute. Realize something very simple here. This 83 point blah, 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 is the number of milliliters per hour. That's V. But when this number is 60, the 60s cancel out, and this number also becomes the final answer. Hope you saw what I just said there, okay? So whatever the V is in milliliters per hour with a micro drop IV set, that number becomes the final answer in drops per minute. So I'm going to count how many drops per minute. 83. I count one, two, three, and I got it. Now a few more little quirky things I want to talk about in some other videos. So just hang and do them okay. Don't just say, I got this down. No, be careful. Watch them all, okay? You want to get your money's worth for this course, don't you? Well, sure, duh. So watch the other ones and find out the other little weird crazy things that you might encounter.